Hey, this is Candace with Seize the Day Charters, and today I was going to talk about the pros and cons of jacuzzis on a hot tub. I had somebody asking me these questions on Friday, and it really drove home that a lot of people probably ask the same thing. So first of all, when you have a jacuzzi on a hot tub, it's not something you're going to sit in when you're underway or when the boat's moving around, because you'd be splashing everywhere. They have to drain the water out. It's only something that you'd use when you're at anchor or that you're docked. It usually takes like 30 minutes or so at least to fill it up. They say 30 minutes, sometimes longer. If you are in somewhere like the Mediterranean and you plan on going to a lot of remote destinations where like you're gonna be jumping off the boat and swimming all week, maybe you don't need a hot tub, but if you plan on, you know, docking a lot of the time, you will absolutely be sitting in your hot tub. So those are kind of some pros and cons of why you might want one versus not. Same thing with the Caribbean. The water is gonna be so hot, do you need it? You're usually on an anchor in the Caribbean, but in the Mediterranean, you're usually docked. So it's kind of fun to sit on a dock and talk about in like in your hot tub having a cocktail. If you have it, you'll totally use it. But like, it's not something you use underway. It does take a while to fill up. And a lot of the time you're booking a vacation because the water is warm and you want to jump in. So those are some pros and cons. The person I was talking to was between spending another $10,000 to get a hot tub or to go without it. So those were just some things that we were discussing. And let me know if you have any questions like help you with the pros and cons on when you're planning your vacation too. Thanks. Oh, if you like this, please subscribe. People always forget to subscribe. And um, I'm gonna get back to uh, this cool location and keep an eye on my kiddos in the pool. Okay.